Janssen was born in 1570 and died in 1630. He was a Dutch and did many exciting things in his life. He was a Dutch navigator, a colonial governor, and served in the Netherlands East Indies for several periods at a time. All these were great and worthwhile things and called for many great adventures, but in 1606 he did something no other European had done before. He found a beautiful land with many diverse animals and new, beautiful plants. He sailed to the coast of Australia. Not many records of William's early life are able to be found, but the first signs we have of him are him being entered into the Ode Compagnie, or the VOC, as a mate on board of the Hollandia. He was in the second fleet under Captain Cornelis. There is no actual proof, but he was most likely born in Amsterdam, Holland. After many voyages, he was put as commander of the Doifkin, which also means Little Dove, in 1603. In 1606, the tiny ship Willem was commander of took sail. It was on a voyage to the south and east lands. They were going somewhere that hadn't been recorded by any European and still was an unknown world to any of their men. This expedition took courage and bravery to sail straight into a great unknown. Not only were they going somewhere that had never been charted before, but the seas that they were about to sail had never been touched by another boat. This meaning they were completely blind going into this trip. What was in the sea was unknown, and the weather conditions were also unknown. Janzu left the port of Banda, Indonesia. Him and his crew were actually headed out to find New Guinea, but he ended up missing Torres Strait, and on February 26, 1606, he came to the western shore of Cape York, also known as the first European landings on Australia. He continued to chart some 300 kilometers of coastline, which he thought was an extension of New Guinea. Him and his men searched the land, but surprisingly did not stay long. Australia then was not like we know it to be now. The land was swampy and the people were very inhospitable. Ten of his men were killed, so he shortly returned to Banda in June. He called this new land New Zealand. One day, the first six white men came into this country. They crossed the Kirky River and met our people. They took one young woman back across the river. Her husband went to them and said, Let her go, give her back. No one spoke the language. They could only use signs. The husband came back and said to our people, Help me. Please get my wife back. So the husband and the tribesmen went back across the river and made signs. The white men wouldn't let her go. The husband pulled the white man into the river and choked him. I think that's what started it all. This is what Paul W. Newberry said about the little-known story of the Wick Nation who repulsed Dutch invaders led by William Janssen at Cape Kierbeer on the western side of Cape York Peninsula in March 1606, while the Dutch were exploring the Gulf of Carpentaria in the Duikken. William Janssen soon returned a second time to the newfound coast of Australia in 1618. Around 1618, he was back in the Netherlands and appointed as a Council of India. He served as an admiral of the Dutch Defence Fleet. He was even awarded with a gold chain. He was probably 60 years of age and willing to retire from his successful life in the service of his country.